the evidence to damn Kobe Bryant is very significant. I will start with what I feel is the most damning. Way back in, I don't know what it was, 2003 or something like that, when he was exposed in a rape scandal, he said, I'm going to paraphrase this, he said something like, I should have done what Shaquille O'Neal does with his women and pay them off. Now think about how tremendously damaging and cruel that is to the family of Shaquille O'Neal, of course, including Shaquille O'Neal, forever, regardless of the authenticity of Kobe Bryant's accusation, the reality is the Shaquille O'Neal family has to deal with a permanent wedge in the trust there. Permanently shattered, forever, Shaquille O'Neal's wife has to be wondering about Shaquille O'Neal's fidelity. And that permanent damage was done voluntarily by Kobe Bryant. Would you, viewer, ever do that to another person unless you absolutely hated him? And even then it would still be immoral? Would you ever forgive someone who you know did such a thing? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be a friend with someone who was disposed to do such a thing. It's just so deeply immoral. Secondly, if you watched Kobe Bryant throughout his career, you will realize that he was not a healthy leader. He was alpha in the sense that he liked to shoot the ball and control the destiny of a game but he was not a leader. He didn't exhibit leadership abilities specifically that rise the level of the game and squeeze out the best in the surrounding players. And most specifically, when his team won, he claimed all the responsibility. When his team lost, he did not take the responsibility. Yes, in his latter years, because clearly he was coached by his agent and his psychologists and his media people, he was coached to take some of the responsibility, but it was phony if you really studied this man throughout his career. I used to really like basketball. As can be most elucidated in, I'm not sure the year, it was something like the 2004 playoffs when Kobe Bryant lost to the Phoenix Suns in the elimination game Kobe Bryant basically took no shots in the second half. Obviously because he didn't want the media to say he was selfish, which they typically did. Now, if you truly care about your team and you're facing an elimination game and you're down by 15 points in the first half or whatever, you will appreciate that you are the best scorer on the team and you need to score baskets for your team. Yes, you have to help other people, but you have to also do your job to score baskets because the situation is in front of you. You're facing elimination and someone has to do this job right now. And at least take shots commensurate with a simple player who would take shots. I think he took zero shots, something like that. And that is because instead of having the true well-being of his team in his mind, clearly, an intelligent person realized that all he thought about was how, after this debacle, the media would react to him. Instead of just playing his best, being a leader, and doing what has to be done, and not listening to the pure evil media, which they always are, he was consumed with egomania, and he let his team down, and didn't even shoot the ball in the second half. Think about how much he let his team down. Think about how disgusting it was. It's literally disgraceful. Why did Kobe Bryant take three shots in the second half? I think he was being very selfish. I think he stopped shooting because he wanted to say, those guys didn't help me. Because normally, if they had to get down by 20 points, he would try to take over. He was not aggressive at all. He was not shooting the ball. He did it a couple of years ago when they had Shaq. He wanted to prove, you guys can't do anything without me. But the truth of the matter, he was very selfish. Hey, those guys played very well. See, I know he doesn't want to take any blame. Phil Jackson has been pretty clear on what he thought uh, Kobe's role, for lack of a better word, was that, hey, we want to play team ball, but if we feel like we need it, then Kobe needs to assert yes. himself and, and he needs to take over. So that's why three shots in the second half. Well, he was just trying to prove a point. And finally, and less importantly, but characteristically, if you note, it's early on his career, I don't know what early year it was, but there was some game that he kept taking threes and like bricking them, they wouldn't even hit the metal of the rim, and then the final shot he takes selfishly and it's an air ball. That's Kobe Bryant. That's Kobe Bryant. So all these useful idiots that I quickly scroll through, especially this one idiot who I like to masochistically follow, 
extreme idiot leftist. She has on her page, oh, God bless Kobe Bryant. I will miss such a beautiful man. And she's putting posters of him. She knows nothing about basketball. She knows nothing about Kobe Bryant. But she splatters her Facebook pages with Kobe Bryant, the loving, brilliant philanthropist, always did the right thing. We will miss him forever. People wonder why I'm a misanthropist. Guard above Russell. Five seconds left. Four. Bryant drives. Pull out. Shot on the way. No good. Carver on rebounds. We go to overtime. Van Exel fake stock away. Cross court left. Open. Cody drives for three. Another air ball. He shoots back to back air ball. Van Exel backs it out. Straight away to Kobe Bryant. Bryant for three. It's short of the end. Air ball. Air ball. Beyond rookie. Three times. He shot air balls. Over. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Here's a three-pointer, air ball at the end by Kobe Bryant. Another air ball. Four seconds left. It's it. It's over. It's over. 